Alrighty, people. Good morning, good night. I don't know. I haven't been asleep yet, so let's just see. I didn't want to touch this case too much because everybody was doing it. So I didn't really feel the need. But after earlier conversation and seeing this, I was like, oh, let me go over it for a minute and just give my quick little opinion to my peoples. Anyway, so it looks like um, a former neighbor called CPS on the parents years ago. So I guess this case right here is showing that the parents had many warning signs that preceded the massacre, including that Ethan was caught Googling ammunition the day before the tragedy and was found with a picture depicting a violent act that said, the thoughts won't stop, help me. That right there, the thoughts won't stop, help me. That's a problem. And no one that is creating a picture that says that should have access to a gun under no circumstances, in my opinion. You have a lot of responsibilities as a parent, and one of those is making decisions that may be for or against your child. And clearly, these people were stuck with their heads up their ass and doing the dummy. So apparently they're all in the same jail. <laughs> you know, and I guess the parents would leave um, this kid alone at home while they would go to the bar and get drunk. And to leave him without a telephone? For him to have to go to the neighbor? Yeah. That's insane. And it says right here that they kept doing it. <laughs> the neighbor said, it was really when I f finally started to say more because I was just like, even after calling CPS, they were still doing it. And even me saying something to them, they were still like, oh, he's fine, she told the Detroit Free Press. Of course, they didn't respond for a comment. So now James and Jennifer Crumbly are getting, are, well, are getting charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald detailed the charges on Friday, saying that Jennifer Crumbly posted about buying a gun for her son in the days before the school shooting and sent a nonchalant message to him after he was caught Googling ammunition in class. Instead of reacting to that as a concerned parent and worried about safety, Mrs. Crumbly texted LOL. Just, I'm not mad. Just next time, don't get caught. Fucking dummy. So fucking dummy. James Crumbly bought the 9mm Sig Zar last four days before the shooting, and Jennifer took him to a gun range for a mother Sunday, according to McDonald. Now, see, I was taught to shoot at 12, but there was very specific rules when it came to shooting. And just to give you a couple, um, A, none of us were left with guns unattended. B, those guns were always locked up, not behind glass. They were locked up in a big, huge 
metal freaking safe in the basement. There was no getting in that. So then, when they called the parents to the school, after the teacher found this disturbing picture, they refused to take the son home and didn't tell him anything about the gun. Even if, even if being a naive parent, even if you thought, oh, my son would never do anything like that, these telltale signs would be enough to trigger my brain to think, okay, something ain't right here, and I need to figure it out. And I'm definitely going to ask about that. They evaded police, which everybody knows, but they are in jail. And there you go. Ethan Crumbly is accused of shooting and killing 16-year-old Tate Meyer, 14-year-old Hannah St. Julian, 17-year-old Madison Baldwin, and 15-year-old Justin Schilling. Sad story, folks. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if you think that the parents are negligent. Or tell me if you have an oppos opposing opinion. I'd like to hear it. Alright, thanks for popping in. Have a great day.